please might welcome Stefan Caritas! Woohoo! Yes, thank you very much for that great introduction. Ben. Uh, I think Ben finally answers the question, what if Vin Diesel had no talent and an alcohol problem? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Fuck with. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I know what you're all thinking. Um, it's not past my bedtime. Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Seriously, keep it down there. Um, yeah, uh, I am Greek, though. I come from a Greek background. I always feel obliged to tell the audience this, you know, because you probably couldn't tell because of my pale complexion and uh, my lack of debt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, thanks, Charles. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, no, but um, being Greek is cool though. I come from a big Greek family, as you know. There's only one, you know. <laughs> We're all related. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it does make it a bit tricky, especially when it comes to relationships. Um, can't tell you how many times I've almost fucked my cousin. <laughs> yeah. Kissing doesn't count. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, thanks. But I'm studying at the moment. I am a uni student. Um, which is cool, uh, so if you guys have any spare change, you know, please give it up, that'll be really appreciated. Um, I like what I'm doing now, I'm in the health and fitness sort of area, and it's cool because I get support from my family. You know, my grandfather said when I started, um, you know, I really like what you're doing, Stefan, to support you, I'm going to start walking five kilometres a day for the rest of my life. I was really inspired, I thought, oh, wow, Grandpa, you know, that's awesome, five kilometres a day, thank you so much. 82-year-old man when he started. He's 84 now, and we have no idea where he is, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking hell. You know, <laughs> he's been walking 5Ks a day for two years. Could be in Perth. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Seriously, if you see him, let us know. <laughs> um, I do have one sibling, though. Um, coincidentally, she's got one, too. Nice, <laughs> hey, Jared. Um, yeah, my sister, she's 24 years old. She's been living out of home for four years, um, living in Adelaide. She got married last September, which is exciting. Um, she's just finished her master's degree, and she, before that she completed her bachelor's degree. Uh, she just decided to move to Sydney with her new husband, uh, where she's going to start this great new job at Westpac. And um, I'm doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> so now our parents are really proud um, of her. Uh, but, you know, I unload the dishwasher, so... <laughs> Uh, it's pretty 50-50. <laughs> yeah. I don't really um, conform to any of the Greek stereotypes either. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't really conform to <laughs> any Greek stereotypes either. Um, apart from the fact that I live in Oakley. Um, where is he going to get a decent sort of lucky, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, typical Greek behaviours, like... Um, not really for me, you know, because I'm really hard working and I have good hygiene, so. <laughs> Kicked against the whole Greek thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but um, this time last year, I was in Peru uh, with my sister and I was uh, visiting a place called Machu Picchu. I'm not sure if you know, uh, Machu Picchu is an ancient ruin. Um, that's the name for it. And its name actually translates to many penises. No, it's true. I, that's not why I went. I found out when I got there, but it's true, 100% true. Anyway, um, <laughs> before the day um, we were due to go on this big hike, right, my sister, she gets really ill, um, and she can't do the hike anymore. Oh, she's sad, you know, hospitalised. Um, it was a real shame. Uh, so being the good brother that I am, I took as many photos as I could <laughs> for her um, from the top of Machu Picchu. Uh, I sent them to her when she was in the hospital. She didn't really appreciate this, um, Turns out I just sent her a heap of dick pics. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's all for me, guys. Thanks for listening. You guys have been great. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just quickly before I go, if you guys actually see my grandfather, please let us know, you know, if we're concerned. Stephen Caritas! <laughs> <laughs>